Hello viewers, do you want to take your Power BI line charts to the next level? In this video, we'll explore two powerful features to enhance your data storytelling. The forecast feature to help you project future trends using built-in time series analysis. Then, we'll learn how to highlight selected time periods in your line chart, making it easier to compare filtered data against overall trends. Let's start exploring the Power BI line chart with the forecast feature. Power BI uses built-in time series analysis to predict future values, helping you identify trends, patterns, and expected outcomes. First, go to the visual gallery and select the line chart. In the build visual section, for the x-axis, add the order date. Keep it as date hierarchy and remove the day and quarter levels. For the y-axis, choose total sales Next, expand the x-axis hierarchy down to month. Now, the line chart shows total sales over time from November 2023 to October 2024. Go to the Format pane and set the interpolation type of the line chart to Smooth. This reduces visual noise in the chart. Now, toggle on the Forecast option. This enables a forecast line that extends beyond the actual data. For the units option, select month as our data is aggregated monthly. Forecast length decides how many units to forecast. Let's input six, which means it will forecast the next six months from the last month of our actual data. Since our data set ends in October 2024, it will forecast from November 2024 to April 2025. Ignore the last option allows us to skip recent data points while training the model. If we input here 1, which means the last month's data, October 2024, will be ignored during the model training. Then, the model will forecast from October 2024 to March 2025. For now, we will set 0 for this option. It will not skip any month. Seasonality helps define repeating patterns like monthly or yearly trends. It allows the model to adjust for cyclical behavior. For example, you can set it to 12 for yearly seasonality in monthly data. In our chart, we observe a repeating up downtrend every three to four months. So let's set it to four. The confidence interval defines the range of uncertainty around the forecast. A 95% interval means there's a 95% chance the actual values will fall within that range. Wider intervals indicate more uncertainty narrower intervals indicate more confidence. For our data, we'll choose a 90% confidence interval. Click Apply and Power BI will generate the forecast line along with the confidence shade based on our defined parameters. Now let's design the forecast line from the format pane. Choose a vibrant color for the forecast line and increase the line width to two pixels. Turn on Match Series Interpolation to make the forecast line smooth, just like the actual line. You can also adjust the transparency of the confidence shade from the settings. This line chart now shows the actual sales trend up to October 2024, followed by a six-month forecast along with a confidence range. It helps visualize where sales are likely headed and how much variation to expect. Now, we learn how to add a highlighting feature in the line chart. The time period selected in our slicer will be highlighted within the chart. First, let's create a calculated date table. Use the DAX function provided in the description to create a table that spans from the minimum to the maximum order date in your main dataset. Go to Table Tools, click New Table, and paste the function into the formula bar. We named this Date Table. Make sure to update the table and column names to match your own dataset. Next, let's create a calculated measure for sales that remains unaffected by any date filtering from the date table. Go to New Measure, paste the DAX function provided in the description, use SUM to aggregate total sales while removing filters from the date table. We named this measure as Actual Sales. Now, go to the model view, 
and create a relationship between the date table and the data table by joining the date columns. Then open the visual gallery and select the line chart. For the X axis, add order date from the data table. For the Y axis, first add the actual sales, the calculated measure, then add the regular total sales field. From the format pane, change the color of the regular sales value to a vibrant color so that the selected range can be seen clearly. Now, create a slicer using the date field from the date table. When a date range is selected in the slicer, the chart will highlight that specific period while also showing the complete sales trend. Like if we select the 1st of January 2024 to the 29th of February 2024, the line chart will highlight these two months. But also it will show the entire sales trend at the same time. Here's what's happening. The yellow line represents the actual sales. It ignores the slicer and stays constant across the timeline. The red line represents the filtered total sales, changing dynamically based on the selected date range. This visual allows you to clearly compare the selected period sales to the overall sales trend over time. If you enjoyed this video, please take a moment to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on our future videos. We'll be uploading many more tutorials and tips on Power BI very soon. Thank you for watching.